Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the Tennessee Human Rights Commission, and we're fortunate to have with us to talk about the commission and some of its activities, uh, Ms. Beverly Watts. And of course, Ms. Watts will give us some additional information about her background, her education, and some of the things that were important in terms of lead, leading her to the executive directorship of the uh, Tennessee Human Rights Commission. And of course, Ms. Watts, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Thank you, Dr. Haney. It's my pleasure to be here with Very you. Very good. It's a pleasure to have you here with us, uh, Ms. Watts. And as I indicated to the audience, uh, what we'd like to do during this uh, first segment is to get some information uh, from you about your background, your education, and some of the things that were significant in terms of leading you to the executive directorship of the uh, Tennessee Human Rights Commission, mm -hmm. as well as some of the other things. And then we'll uh, get into some of the issues during this, mm -hmm. the latter part of that segment or the uh, next segment. Well, that's good. Well. I am a native of Nashville, so I'm back home again mm -hmm. after a long absence, mm -hmm. alumni of Tennessee State, mm -hmm. product of uh, Davidson County Schools when they were segregated. Mm -hmm. I went to Haynes High School. Very good. For people mm -hmm. who are Nashvilleans, they'll understand mm -hmm. that. Uh, and I've been involved in this work now for more than 30 years. I started uh, out of college uh, teaching school. It was a good job, mm -hmm. but it wasn't what exactly what I wanted to do. And, mm -hmm. I did what my mother and father said, I got a good government mm -hmm. job. So good. I went to Very work good. in this arena, <laughs> uh, doing civil rights work, school desegregation. Uh, over the years, got involved in a number of things. Uh, was the director of the T Kentucky Human Rights Commission mm -hmm. for 12 years. Uh, left, went to Washington. Inside the Beltway is a different kind of an experience. Mm -hmm. So I started looking around for something else. And the job in Tennessee became available. So mm -hmm. I thought it was time to come home mm -hmm. and to do that. So we've been involved in this work. We've served as president of the International Association of Official Human Rights Agencies, work with human rights groups mm -hmm. both in the U.S. and mm -hmm. in Canada, mm -hmm. and in Hong Kong and other few places, Bermuda, Africa, the mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've been involved for the last two and a half years before coming here, teaching individuals about how to do good investigation. So we've been doing mm -hmm. education in the arena of human rights investigative mm -hmm. kind of work in Washington mm -hmm. for the National Fair Housing Training Academy, which was funded by HUD. We were on Howard University's campus mm -hmm. for about two years teaching groups on mm -hmm. site. Mm -hmm. So that was an exciting experience and uh, unique. And I think it gave me some more insight on what I need to do and how we can work better with the staff. We have 30 staff people mm -hmm. who work in uh, four offices across the state. Mm -hmm. We have an office in Chattanooga. We have an office in Memphis. We have an office here in Nashville and one in Knoxville. Mm -hmm. We have 15 commissioners appointed mm -hmm. by the governor. Our chairperson is Spencer Wiggins, who is located here in Nashville. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people know Mr. Wiggins. So mm -hmm. I'm just so pleased to be here. We have mm -hmm. a great staff. We have a great group of commissioners. Mm -hmm. And I think given my background and the many, many years, and it's mm -hmm. 30 plus at this point that I've mm -hmm. been doing this work, I look forward to working with the staff. And we have some challenges, but I think we're going to be able to make it. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to that, I think we have also, you know, a number of different things going on in human rights now, mm -hmm. both inside our organization and well, as well as globally. Yeah. So I look mm -hmm. forward to being able to uh, today talk a little bit about some of the specific mm -hmm. issues and some of the other things that we're involved in mm -hmm. and some of, the, some of the initiatives that are going on in some of the border states because we do know the directors uh, that sometimes human rights doesn't, is mm -hmm. not a respecter of state yeah. lines. Mm -hmm. So we're happy to be able to perhaps pull together some coalitions across state lines when you move north mm -hmm. and you get to the Kentucky border. Sometimes it's mm -hmm. invisible. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, I tell you, let, let's look, uh, uh, before we uh, leave this uh, mm -hmm. first segment, let's look at some of the uh, issues in terms of the organization itself, that is the Tennessee Human Rights Commission. Where did this organization come from? And some, that kind of information. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. this organization was started more than 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. It really did grow out of the issues related to Dr. King's death and others. Mm -hmm. uh, and the legislature has over the years given us additional authorities mm -hmm. uh, to do that. So we're more than 40 years old. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do employment, housing, and public accommodations, mm -hmm. investigation complaints, mm -hmm. and our legislative history continues to grow and expand. Mm -hmm. uh, we cover a variety of issues that it's, it's against the law to discriminate uh, based mm -hmm. on race, color, mm -hmm. national origin, age, disability, sex, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, in, and familial status in mm -hmm. housing. Uh, so we see a lot of issues in those arenas mm -hmm. as well. Our biggest area is employment. Mm -hmm. So we look forward to talking to you, kind of giving you an idea of some of the types of cases we've been seeing mm -hmm. over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have um, you know, housing cases across the state as mm -hmm. well. Very low number of public accommodations cases, but I think 
given Jenna 6, we want to talk a little bit about what Good. we're seeing mm -hmm. out there and what kind of things are coming up in this whole public accommodations mm -hmm. arena mm -hmm. and some of the things that are happening there as well. But again, 40 plus years old, looking at issues in employment, in housing, and in public accommodations. Well, and, and, and of course, I think that that will help me as well, uh, Ms. Watts, because uh, the information that you have is really an outline of the kind of information I think that you know <laughs> that we need to hear because you've been right. involved in it in such, for, for, for such a long time. And certainly we mm -hmm. look forward to the second segment when mm -hmm. we'll have an opportunity to go into some of the issues. But in the meantime, we'll take this first commercial break, okay. after which we'll come back and we'll allow you to become involved in some of the issues dealing with the Tennessee Human the Rights Commission. Of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. The topic is the